Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on Venn diagrams. This is the second video on this topic and in this video uh, we're just going to look at one of the harder skills uh, which is uh, interpreting Venn diagrams using conditional probability. So in the Venn diagram below, G represents students selecting geography and H represents students selecting history. Use the Venn diagram uh, to determine the probability of G given H. So this means the probability that the student selects geography given that they've selected history. So rather than considering everything in the Venn diagram, uh, we're only considering uh, this circle here, so the history circle, um, as the kind of total. So we ignore everything else. Um, so our probability is going to be out of the total number of uh, students that selected history. Uh, so that is 14. So 14 selected history. Um, and we want to know the probability that the student selects geography given that they selected history. So the number of people that selected geography as well as, as history is 12. So P of G uh, given H, we can say is 12 over 14. Uh, and of course, you'd want to cancel this down. So that's going to be equal to, if we divide top and bottom by 2, 6 over 7. And you can't simplify this anymore. Uh, so that's our final answer. So if you want to familiarise yourself with some Venn diagram exam style questions, then you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, a variety of different question types, and you'll get instant feedback on all of it. So this is a really good way of keeping track of your progress and finding out where you need to improve. If you're interested, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.